Are you somebody who likes to write? Do you actually like to sit down and read books? Do you sometimes read publications and actually catch things that are wrong? Then writing and editing as a profession might be something that you might really enjoy doing. And this is something that is becoming a little bit of a lost art, which means we need more of these people. Uh, when it comes even to textbooks that I see in my classroom, you need people to proofread things and make sure it's the way it's, it's supposed to sound and it's also using the correct grammar and correct punctuation as well. But there's lots of different ways you can be a writer and an editor as a career. Obviously, there are publications all over the place. So magazines, even online magazines, blogs, different things that you could, to, you could do. As an editor, you're the person that's editing the layout, you're editing the headlines, you're editing the articles to make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. So my father was a sports editor in the communications field. One of his jobs was to make sure that everything people that were writing for him were turning in also looked good. So it's a lot of proofreading. It's a lot of being able to know good grammar skills and, and the way things should be done. So if you're good in English class and you're good at writing research papers and things like that, this is definitely something you could consider. Musical lyrics, a lot of people don't really think about, but sometimes when in music, and it doesn't have to be you know, an individual artist that's writing a song, it could be that, but we could also be talking about plays, about different theater operations that require musical lyrics, in which case they may need somebody to help edit and proof that. So again, this is something that you could get into if you like theater. Script writing. Now this would be more, now you're talking more, uh, could again be plays, but you could be talking film too. You could be talking stories. You could be talking a lot of different avenues here with script writing. And if you ever notice, when you see the credits run in either a TV show or a movie, you'll see that there are script editors, and those are the people who have gone through and made sure that it sounds the way it's supposed to sound. Now, yes, sometimes you use bad grammar on purpose in a movie or a play or a film, but that would have the editor would make sure that fits, that it actually fits the character and fits what's, what's actually going on, and that's what you would do. So again, it's kind of behind the scenes and it's a little bit of proofing. Newspapers, well, obviously, I just said my father worked for a newspaper. He was a sports editor. Newspapers need to edit all the time because when you write a story, that's great. And yes, I know that computers can edit for you too, but you, if you're a good newspaper person, you actually go back, you proofread what you have written, or your editor should, and this is, again, where my father was a sports editor, so anytime anybody turned something into him for the sports page, he reread re it to make sure it, it was the proper grammar and proper format. So again, if it's something that you like to do, if you like to read a lot and you know good grammar and you kind of know, you know how, what a, a good article or paper looks like, this is something you could really enjoy. Now, what does that take? It's going to take a four-year degree. Usually the bachelor's degree that you're going for is in communications. And in communications, they are going to teach you how to edit different styles of writing, how to do a script edit, for instance. All of that can be done with a degree in college. Now, you don't necessarily have to have that. I'll tell you up front, my father did not go to college, and he wound up being a sports editor. Now, how did he wind up doing that? He started at the bottom of the newspaper business and worked his way up over 30 years. So it is possible, but nowadays, they kind of want to make sure that you have that background and that you have that knowledge ahead of time, and then you could come right out of college and become an editor. So my dad had to work his way to the editor position, which is possible, but if you actually go to college and get to the, the degree, you could walk in and be the editor. So if you like to read, if you like to write, if you like to proofread other, what other people have written and try to help them out, then editing could be right up your alley. We'll see you next time.